Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is the first video of my like October vlogtober series. I'm going to be uploading a video every day this month which I am scared about. Like I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard but I'm hoping to pre-film a little bit. Not like massively but if I can film like two videos a day it just means I have to film every other day. Basically I have a lot of work to do. But I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy it. Let me know what videos you'd like to see this month. And since I need loads of ideas, I am likely to do it. I actually didn't film a new in last month. So, because today's the 1st of October. Um, I didn't film one in September. So this is going to be my September one. And then you might get two this month. A drugstore and a non-drugstore. Just because I need video ideas. And I quite like filming new ins. They're probably my favourites to film. Um, it's also worth noting that I've just taken two painkillers. I am really not film feeling well. Filming well. Feeling well. Probably not filming well either. I think I'm getting like tonsillitis. Something along those lines. Um, I, I also have like... Oh, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with my not feeling wellness. Just wanted to show you a few things that I have received this month. Um, hopefully some of them are quite exciting. Uh, I'm going to start with fragrance. Some of you guys think I'm grumpy, which like really makes me sad. Like not grumpy, moany, um, which makes me so sad. But I'm going to moan a little bit. Don't really love fragrance just because I don't have the most mature, skilled nose. I can't really spot fragrance, I mean, I can't really spot notes and stuff like that. So I always find it quite hard to talk about fragrances. But there's just so many fragrances being released at the moment that I thought I would talk about a couple. Angel by Terry Mugler. Um, Eau de Parfum for the Night de Nuit. I think it's basically this, well, I don't know. I think it's not dissimilar to the original. Angel um, looks like this. Smells like a little bit more intense than the original. Packaging looks like this. It's cute, not like the prettiest though. Um, but if you are an Angel fan, I am sure you'll be very excited about that. Then from DKNY, they've released crystallized perfumes, whatever that means. I haven't read the press release. I don't know if it's just the fragrance, that's, the packaging that's changed or the fragrance too. Again, to me, it smells like the original. And then also the pink one. This one's Fresh Blossom and then the green one is Be Delicious. Obviously, like, Be Delicious is so iconic. Victor and Rolf Bon Bon Couture Intense. I don't have the original to this, so I can't really tell you how they compare. The packaging is cute. I'm quite a fan of that Victor and Rolf packaging, actually, generally. I like this. This is one I, oh, that's really annoying. Now I've got a wet stain. Victor and Rolf um, packaging I really love and that's probably a fragrance I would wear. But probably one that surprised me the most is Lacoste, Eau de Lacoste, I think it might be called. Packaging is really cute, it's like this mint green colour, I really like it. And I think it smells like really fresh and really nice. Oh, really good descriptive words there. Yeah, I just like it. It's fresh. Not too much, basically. Then on to things I kind of feel like I can talk about a little bit more, that I'm a little bit more knowledgeable, my eyes work a little bit better than my nose, I would say. I don't know if you've all seen, but Batiste have some new styling sprays. Oh, actually, one that I love and I have to hand is their Hold Me hairspray, which I use today. It is, like, quite heavy hold, so if that's not what you want, then don't go for this. But I personally love this. I don't think it leaves my hair too sticky, and I, it doesn't leave, like, any white, gooeyness on it but this is the hydrate me oil mist which is super exciting use it on dry hair so maybe i'll apply a little bit i could regret this it smells like beer but i really like the idea of it and i'm assuming it's not too expensive i'm going to keep using this and let you know how i get on okay loads more to talk about um jo malone have released a hand cream I've never had hand creams before but I didn't ever have one. This is geranium and walnut. I actually don't love the packaging on this if I'm completely honest. It looks a little bit dated which I don't ever find with Jo Malone. I think Jo Malone always looks very um, like chic and grown up but there's something about this that I think makes it look a little bit dated. Sorry I'm just trying to get the little nib off. Um, this scent is geranium and walnut. Oh sounds like oh I've just smelled so many things. God knows if I can even smell this. Interesting. 
I don't know if I love it. So I am unsure of what I think of this scent, but it feels like really hydrating. Oh, that does actually feel very nice, but I'm not sure about the scent. Let's jump into a drugstore brand. Um, Barry M have released a few new things. This is the Flawless Chisel Cheek Contour Cream Kit. Looks like this. It's very on trend, these sort of palettes. Um, super inexpensive. I think it's probably like six pounds. That's a guess, by the way. Um, I'll leave a link to it below. Um, I haven't tried any of these. The contour, some of them look quite dark, but it's interesting. If it works, that'd be amazing because some of those contour kits are like, I don't even know how much. Then an eyeshadow palette. This is red carpet ready. I'm assuming this is like their Christmassy palette. Um, nothing special. I'm not really a big fan of the packaging of these as well. Um, Champagne Dreams. Again, if you're on a budget, they are nice. I'm not going to pretend they're not. Um, I just feel like I have nicer palettes, so I typically reach for those over these. I have loads of palettes to talk about. Oh, hold on. Also from Barry M. And these are quite exciting in my opinion because um, I haven't found a setting spray that I love from the drugstore. There was I had a bad experience with a Maybelline one. It was awful. This one is Primal Water. Um, this one is Mist and Fix Dewy Finish. Okay, I'm going to apply this one. Not not too heavy which I quite like I also don't have a mirror so can't check what that looks like but I'm looking forward to trying these and then this is a matte finish which since I don't really like matte skin I probably won't be using but if you do and you're on a budget then Barry M do one which I haven't tried so I can't tell you if it's nice or not but it might be worth trying on to Clarins they've released a like Christmas palette this is £35 it's out kind of soon i'll leave the date below now i'm gonna be honest and say that i never find the quality of these to be on par with the rest of the the clarins range i don't ever love these the shimmer of this year's one looks out of this world but like in a bad way it looks very chunky and the payoff just isn't that amazing i love clarins as a brand it's one of my all-time favorite beauty brands but I just find this one palette always to be a miss. I don't know why. don't love the, the cardboard packaging. But it's out if you're interested. Something that I have been loving. And if you don't have, you can pre you can order it. Because it came out yesterday. Um, but act quickly. It will sell out quickly. I don't know if it has sold out. I don't think it will sell out that quick. But it will definitely sell out. Is the Hourglass ambient lighting surreal light palette looks like this let's just take a second to admire this it's beautiful um it's like marbly inside i oh i hadn't thought of this but i guess this marble mirrors the marble inside inside you have a finishing powder bronzer blush blush and a strobing powder oh and there's also a brush this is pretty expensive, I think this is like £69, but you do get five products. Oh, I'm quite shiny today. This wasn't what I was planning to do, but ended up applying powdering and applying highlight. That highlight is incredible. I applied like the tiniest bit and it's so like, whew, such a, such a beautiful palette. Back down to drugstore. MUA apparently have released new Lip, lip lacquers but I feel like I've already got these maybe I've already seen them maybe they are new I am not sure these are the velvet lip lacquers I don't know if I already said that there's five shades that I have and I believe there is just five shades or maybe I've misplaced one but I think there's just five um this one is poise which I really do think I already have but who knows one I definitely haven't tried is hustle they are super autumnal shades I'm going to show you in a second so we've got Poise and Hustle. Then this is Firecracker. After Firecracker, we've got Flare, which looks incredible. And then actually, because I just think it's super fun, the one I was most ex excited about is Splash, which is blue. Um, Splash probably looks like the worst quality one, and I tried it. It wasn't great on the lips a bit wishy-washy and the other colours aren't too wishy-washy that's what they look like interested to try them like f for a prolonged period of time like a whole day they remove horribly like they stain but I don't think that's a bad sign really also new from MUA Lux is the glow beam highlight powder 
it's like a sharpener. So it's basically like it's got tiny blades and then you do this and it cuts it. Oh my God, that looks incredible. Um, this is the color gold, looking forward to trying that. But also the Radiant Illumination Highlighting Kit. All matte, which is quite interesting. They look quite nice though. So that they can be, they're radiant powder highlighters that create a light luminosity and they can be like a layered or applied separately. So it sounds very interesting. And then last but not least, Ciate, this is £45 I believe, it's the Chloe Morello Beauty Haul box. Chloe Morello, for those of you that don't know, is a YouTuber. I always want to say a YouTuber here on YouTube, which is so annoying, but she's a creator here on YouTube. This is her collab with Ciate, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the pouch first. The pouch is super cute, I really like Ciate as a brand actually. Um, this is the pouch. It's navy with rose gold writing on it. Then there's a mini mascara, which is the Wonderland mascara, which honestly is really, really good. Wonder Wand even mascara, which I love. And then a liquid velvet lipstick. These are pretty good too. The only thing that is limited edition to this collection is the Pretty Front and Fearless. Although the, the thing that says created by Chloe Morello is a, is a sticker, which I don't think looks that fancy. It was like it was an afterthought. This palette is stunning so 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 beautiful you've got like these burnt browns which and like orangey colors which are really really popular at the moment and then you've still got like these purple shades which i think are always beautiful some shimmery shades some matte shades i just love it um and the colors are named like some of the names are skinny tip unconditional on fire be sassy flirt daydream own it vacay that sort of stuff but I am so excited to try this. It looks very, very good. 15 colours. I mean, it is a little bit expensive, £45, but you get 15 you get 15 eyeshadows. Um, and for example, the MAC eyeshadow palette, which has 15 colours, is way more expensive than that. And I guess you get a mascara pouch and a, and a liquid lipstick, but it is pretty expensive. And that's the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming it and let me know if you'd like to see me try on any of these items. I'm tempted to try this on. It looks incredible. Well, I'm actually gonna, I'm definitely going to try it, but I mean on video. It looks beautiful. It does bother me and this is me being super picky. And it's like this happens with so many brands is when the eyeshadows are a little bit off. They should be straight, but they're not. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will be back tomorrow. And for the rest of the month with new videos, let me know what you would like to see. And I'll see you soon. Bye.